My name is Steve Parker. I'm the Quality Control Manager here at Wilbert Plastics Far City, North Carolina location. This video is an instructional video to aid our operators in the manufacturing of plastic omnium grills that we manufacture here at this location. Here at Wilbert Plastic Services in Far City, North Carolina, we manufacture approximately 40 different styles of grills for plastic omnium. Each one of these grills eventually will find its way to a BMW car, an X5 or X6 series, located at BMW's North American facilities in Greer, South Carolina. Although each one of these grills is distinctly different, different size, different shape, different lengths, even though they're all different in that fashion, the defects that we commonly see when manufacturing these parts are pretty much the same throughout all the grills. And what we're going to do in this training video is go through those various types of defects so we can give uh, new operators and existing operators an idea of what to expect while running these grills. Before we go into the defects, however, what I would like to do is to remind you of some very important aspects. Anytime you go to a machine, prior to starting to run the product, it is very important that you review the operator work instructions that are located at the machine. Uh, many of these molds will make multiple different versions of grills at any given time, sometimes more than one grill at a time. Your work instruction will display and give you the information that you need to identify which type of grill you're manufacturing so that we can ensure they properly get labeled and identified and the customer gets the product he's looking for. Uh, when you get to the workstation, you will lo your operator work instructions will be located in the green folders that are at the workstation. In addition to the green folders, you will also need to review the red folder that is at the press as well. This red folder will contain important information such as quality alerts, customer complaints, or other very important information you will need to know about when you're running this particular job. Another item that specifically needs to be reviewed thoroughly when you start your job is the first piece that Quality has approved and put at your workstation as a visual reference for the run. You will see that the first piece at your press will have uh, various markings that the Quality Inspector has noted based on her experience and knowledge of problems and issues that we've had with this part in the past. There will also be a first piece sticker on the part notifying when the part was approved, what the mold number is, the date and the time and other information so that you know it's for the job that you're currently running at the press. Once you're at the press and you've gone through your work instructions, your quality alerts, and the first piece, you're now ready to start production on the job. As the parts start coming off, we're going to start discussing the various types of defects that are common to grills when they're manufactured. Uh, one such defect that we see on nearly every grill we mold is short shots. A short shot is where a part did not completely fill out as the mold was designed to do. And you can see on the part here, this should be straight across, but right at this point here, you can see there's a little bit of a missing uh, area of the part. That's what we call a short shot. Uh, these short shots, shots typically happen along edges of the part and specifically on grill in the tabs where the grill assembles to the car. These would be the two places to always look for short shots, outer edges and the various tabs around the part. Regardless of which, which grill you're looking for, they all have the same edge and the same clips. Other type problems that we see on parts is blush and gloss variation. It may be a requirement for you to actually tilt the part in the light so that the blush or the discoloration or the flow line is visible. You can see on this part, as you tilt it back and forth, there's a variation in gloss from this section to this section. That indicates that there's a problem with the processing of the part and it may be a defect that's not acceptable to the customer. Each grill is unique, therefore you need to compare what you're seeing on the parts you're running with your first piece that you reviewed at the start of the press. If you see any defect on the part you're running that did not appear on the first piece that you reviewed or it's specifically listed in your work instructions, you need to contact your supervisor or your quality inspector immediately so that the defect can be addressed and corrected. Another defect that's common 
on grills is open flow lines. What we mean by flow line is where when the molten plastic is flowing in the part and meets together, there's a flow front there. Sometimes if the plastic does not meld together correctly, you will see a, a knit line or a flow line. You can see in this area of the part where there is a knit line. Typically, if you slide your fingernail across a knit line and it catches, that knit line is too deep and that part is defective. There again, always refer back to your first piece and compare the flow line you're seeing with the flow line that was approved on the first piece. Another condition that we see sometimes on grill are what we call drag marks. Drag marks are where maybe there's a burr in the tool or the part, the texture is sticking in the tool and when the mold ejects, it actually scratches the part. You can see in this section on this part, it actually looks like a scratch, like somebody had maybe taken something and scratched the part. That's a drag mark. That is also unacceptable on a grill. Anytime you see such defects as this, you should notify quality or your supervisor immediately. Another issue that we commonly see on grills is when the operator does not trim the gate effectively. The gate is where the plastic actually enters into the mold and many times the operator will be required with a pair of clippers to clip the gates off. The gate must be flush to the top of the part so when the part is installed on the car it fits under and all the uh, mating surfaces line up correctly. You can see on this part at the top how the operator left the gates too high and you can see them sticking up. This is an unacceptable gate trim. These parts would have to be reworked if they were packed in this condition. Another condition that we see on grills is a condition we call flash. Flash is a condition where the mold didn't shut off properly or the mold was blown open and plastic extended beyond its intended point on the part. If you look closely in this window area, this should be a nice smooth square area, but you see this extra plas plastic that's sticking up, that's flash. This condition needs to be immediately reported to your supervisor or quality technician so that a process technician can go and address the problem within the process. Another aspect that's also critical when we're running grills, as I said earlier, we, sometimes the mold will make multiple different parts. Uh, it's critical that if maybe it's running a right and a left part at the same time. We want to make sure all the lefts are packed together, all the rights are packed together. That's why it's critical to look at your work instruction to make sure that you're labeling the left part as a left and the right part as a right. Not only is it on your work instruction, but on the back side of the part, that will be molded in an LH or RH so that you'll know that this is a left and right part and you can segregate those as well. It's also important that you follow your packaging instructions. Many times when we're running grills, we actually only put every other part in a poly bag. What you want to make sure is the orientation is such that you never have the cosmetic section of the grill in an unbagged part up against the sidewall of the plastic container. During shipment, it will scuff and scratch that part. That's why you always want to make sure the part that's up against the sidewall of the container is the bag part. Speaking of the cosmetic area of the grill, on all the grills you will notice there's an edge that extends outward. This outer edge actually snaps up into the car and is hidden, so it is not cosmetic. But everything from the edge point inward and all textured surfaces those are the cosmetically critical areas that need to be observed on the part when you're doing your uh, inspection.